so me i can't understand i have just escaped uh, i don't know if it like if i can even call it an arrest or anything but it was clear that when i was at cheston police those police officers had the uh had the intentions of picking me up i don't know what was going to follow because look i first uh the, 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 if i can give you the background the background is that i was called to bring the cable that was used to tie my gardener the footage and also come with the, my gardener and myself now so i was not able to 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 go there that was i think on friday so i said let me come on monday 10 hours and that's how we went there at 10 hours when we arrived there, we went into the CIO's office. Who, the, who is the one who called me? And I found him. He was having a meeting with the uh, officer in charge. The moment I arrived, the officer in charge left the office and went into his office. And their offices are just next to each other. I told him, we have brought the footage, we have brought the cable, and this is the uh, my garden. He said, okay just hold on a bit i'm coming that's how he went into the next office of the officer in charge he took a, some minutes and then he came back and he said just wait the officer in charge has just stepped us stepped out um he'll be coming back just just wait about 20 minutes he'll be back now i knew that the officer in charge was in the office because i saw him going into the office and i saw the the cio going into the office and he, the door was open. I never saw him walking out. And this is upstairs. So he didn't fly from his office. I knew he was in the office. But then the CIO is telling me, he has just stepped, has stepped out. He will be coming back in 20 minutes. Which was clear to me that they were waiting for whatever they were waiting for. So I just told my, my gardener to say, let's go. And that's how we, we, we left the place, got into the vehicle, and, and left. Now, I've been arrested so many times. They have taken me so many times. I know the tricks. And I am very sure there the intentions were not good. The intentions were not good. I'm very sure about it. Because we had given a statements already. They wrote our statements. And they only asked, no, bring the footage. Ah. So so I'm, I'm very sure the intention was something else. But the question that I'm asking is, why is it that I've turned out to be the, the suspect or the criminal when I'm the one that was attacked? I can't understand this. Eh? I can't understand this. And look, if today they got, they got us together with my gardener, they get the footage, they get my gardener, they get the cable, where would the evidence? Eh? From my point of view, it looks like they want to, they want to, uh, you know, to erase the, the the evidence, because it's not, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Why do they want to arrest me? What have I done? And they are saying, well, you are you, you, you are putting the army into whatever. The question is, even when whenever a crime happens, the police usually ask you. They ask you, who do you suspect? They usually ask you, who do you suspect? And you give the people that you you suspect. You give you give the suspect, you give you give police you clues. And according to us, we have given them the clues that those people they are from the army for simple reasons. Number one, the guns that they had, the guns that they had. Those guns are not used by even ordinary police officers. They are not. They are not used. Even ordinary soldiers, you don't see them carrying those guns. Then, number two, the cable that they use, it is not a common cable that you see around. The cable that they use to tie, to, tie, to tie my garden. It is not a cable that you see around. Number three, they themselves, themselves said it. Tell your boss investigation. Somebody says, let, them, let him stop talking about the army. Which criminal? with no interest with the army would come to my house wanting to kill me and tell me let him not talk about the army how 
How? And then, the other point is, when you are shooting in the air, criminals usually run away. They run. Those people, they were, do, they even said, does he know who we are? Does he know who we are for him to be shooting? The other point, which criminal do you see after leaving a scene of crime, puts a gun on his head, on his back, and drives freely at the back of a van? Which criminal does that? Where does that, I mean, it's just, it can't happen. Which criminals do that? Eh? So, everything from our point of view is pointing to the army. It's pointing to the army. And this is a clue. It is now up to the police to investigate and tell us to say, well, it is not the army, but here are the criminals. Otherwise, there is no way you can turn me into a, a villain when I'm a victim here. Hmm? I can't understand. They want to arrest me. Why do you want to arrest me? Why do you want to arrest me? What have I done? What crime have I committed? In my own country, I'm turning to be a, 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 a fugitive. A fugitive. I, I mean, I'm not a fugitive. I'm not running away. I'm here. Hmm? What, what's going on? What is going on? Me, I can't understand you and your governance. Hmm? This is nothing about what, me doing something wrong. This is all about you trying to shut me up. Trying to shut me up. And you say, yo, you talk too much. I talk too much. What do I talk about? Even you, by UPND Kada, who would like to say, hey, you talk too much. What is it that I say that you should kill me for? Tell me what I've done that you want to kill me for. What is it that I've said that you want to kill me for? What is it? Eh? On the on, on on what was that? On Friday itself, they came to my house, wanted to to arrest me. They wanted to pick me. They stayed one hour outside my yard, waiting for me. Come on, this is just not right. I mean, some of you you can even support this, whatever, whatever. But I'm telling you, today it's me. Tomorrow, it might be you. This is how dictatorship operates. Dictators, you know, you can be there saying, no, 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 it's okay. It's Shulfatari, it's Shulfatari they are following. But when they will come for you, you will be, you, you will be sorry. This is really unacceptable. It's really, really unacceptable. I can't believe it. Eh? it. They called me to the police, not really to continue investigating. They called me there because they want to arrest me. It is clear they are not interested in investigating this case. What they want is me. They know, and if indeed those people were common criminals, if indeed those people were common criminals, I'm, I'm sure, you know, government would have, somebody would have said something, but everyone is quiet. Why is everyone quiet? Why is everyone quiet? What happened here? It's something big. It's not small. You can't take this lightly. People with those heavy machine guns coming to my house, jumping the war fence, and you take it that it's lightly. You can think that, no, it's just Rufa Tayari, but this is dictatorship. This is dictatorship. And we will start disappearing. People will start dying because I would have been dead by now. It is very unfortunate. Anyway, I've, I've left the police. I've come back home. I've come back home. If you want, come to my home. I've come back home.